All right. Um. Okay. Hold on. Before we even read, you have eyes. You want to look at these eyes? All right. Fly your fair nation. Fly your fair nation. Fly. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is powered by Fly Fair Nation and recorded at the Fan Production House. Sugar. There, 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 there. Hi, hello. What's going on? You know, here again. <laughs> the other, uh, next week. Another week. I know y'all ain't think we was going to make it three more, three weeks in a row. Look <laughs> at us. Consistency. Fuck you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up? What's up? What's tea? Um, ah, it's a, a lot fun. of... Fun stuff this week. Yeah, holy pa. Interesting topics and things that's been going on. Social media is doing its thing, and niggas is niggas in, 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 wilding, acting a fucking fool. Like it's a lot of shit going on, and I'm just like, y'all, these hills that people be picking to like climb to the top of and scream from, <laughs> yo. They wildin'. For real, for real. On nothing. Okay. And with this, what are you referring to exactly? Well, a few things. Okay. Um, D Wade and his acceptance of his child. Wrote the fucking internet. Yes. Again. And before we even get to that, um, do you remember a few weeks back, um, that white boy that was trying to talk patois that was coming out the um what you call it that ended up being like Tom Hanks' son or some shit? I think so. Yeah. So something happened and I didn't look into it because I was just like, why people feel so fucking entitled to shit? But anyways, he said something like how, I guess because people was coming at him for, you know, cultural appropriation or whatever the case is. And he was saying how it's not okay for a white person to imitate black people. But why is it okay for black people to um wear cowboy hats and cowboy boots? And I was just like, does that make sense? Because, for one, as a Jamaican, Mm -hmm. um, the whole fucking coat of arms says, out of many, one people. People. We are not all black. Fact. Like. Fact. We are, we are not all, we, Jamaica is a multiracial country. Like. Fact. People there that look Indian, people there that are Chinese, people there that are white, people there that are black. Exactly. So. (laughs) What? <laughs> People talk to talk. Yeah. So I was like, does he know that all Jamaicans aren't black? He probably don't know that. He probably don't. Because when they see Jamaica, they see black people yeah. with dreadlocks. And they, and they will be frightened as hell. See some of the people that open their mouth. Yo, speaking of, you saw the video. Did we talk about this with Wally British and the white man? When I, she was in the party and she was like, hi, hello, good evening. When she bucked up on him and then no. he said something and she realized they were Mayadi. And she was like, oh, me think I didn't watch proper white man, my white man. Oh, shit. Shit, she really fucking. <laughs> she was um she was emceeing a party mm-hmm. and she was you know up there talking or whatever there, and she turned around this white man sat up there and she said oh excuse me good night like switch from pot quick, quick 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 and I walk up pot him out him should have scam out him should have just nice to talk a little bit and say well hello darling how are you what and she said take say I want proper white man and buck up pot I said yeah. I was dead, but goes to show you, like, you never know, especially, like, with Jamaicans, so that statement was dumb, and then another dumb part of the statement is black people in cowboy boots, like, niggas, was the first cowboys, what are you? But see, people don't be knowing what they be talking about, you gotta remember that. Yeah. Me and I wear no cowboy hat, I mean, I wear no cowboy boot. so... <laughs> No, not me personally. If that's what you into, by all means, I'm not click clocking in no fucking cowboy boots. I I'm not doing it. And cowboy don't hats. Want the hat? I'm okay without the hat. The boots. I like boots. I like boots. No, because they don't have no shape, and I feel like I'm gonna be like weirded out by all the space around my ankles, and this then like this is my point. And then they just be yeah, they look funny, and they all to me it look like it's too big. You know when you be wearing somebody else's shoes and they look too big. Listen. <laughs> It's, it's way That's too the much. vibe. Yeah, nah. Mm-mm. I don't really like, and I, I don't know. It look funny on some people. Yeah, you know what I always think is like interesting. Like seeing people with like shorts and cowboy boots, and mm. I just be like, like there's Daisy so much Dukes. space. Yeah, but there's like so much. The space thing bothers me. That's why I can't wear my rain boots too much. Because okay. yeah, we know you love your little. Yes, rain boots. I love my rain boots. But see, my rain boots though have like a fabric inner lining. Ah, so like it kind of like. My socks kind of like you know like attracts it to it, together. yeah. So it, it's not as bad. But Got cowboy you. boots, so oh. loose. Yeah. yeah, 
Mm-mm, not gonna work for me. But yeah, um, y'all need to realize what cultural appropriation is, Fact. and <sighs> people talk a lot and don't know what the fuck is going on anyway. Yeah, I feel like they know that it's not okay, and they just want ratings. Like we said the other day, like they just want to upset black people so that black people can make them popular. Because That's all. I didn't even know Tom Hanks had a son. Minida. I saw this white boy. And I thought it was just some random white person that was just Minida. <laughs> I was like, oh. I don't know. Tom Hanks has a child. That's not really anything for me to know. Yeah, I mean, I really. You get what I'm saying? Where myself, both people, pal, celebrities, and stuff like ain't nothing for me to know. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) celebrities and yeah, people get themselves involved with all these celebrities, which brings us back to what's his name too? Mm -hmm, D Wade. How y'all involving y'all black asses? And I'm speaking directly to black people. I'm not even saying that to really nobody else. In my in my daily, I interact with mostly black. Yes. You know, and Caribbean people. I don't really interact with others. You know, the others. A little bit here and there, here and there because of work and such and such. But why are y'all so friggin' bothered by this man choosing to love his child, his daughter? See? Cause okay. Because it, it's a bonino. Okay, this is my thing. I didn't see exactly what happened, so... His daughter actually says that she's transitioning. Like she, like she wants to. She wants to be considered she, her. Okay. The name Zaya, like the name change. Yeah, because yeah, that's not her real name. Yeah. You know, well, you mm-hmm. know, you yeah. Know what I'm saying she doesn't identify with that name. Yeah. Know. Yeah. No, like her. Like she's done. Like that's and people are upset. Get. Do you live with them? Do they pay your bills? Listen. Somebody going to tweet talking about wow. Um, D Wade. He not my favorite player no more. Did he even know he was your favorite player? D-Wade don't give a flying fuck about none of y'all. Like he tweeted the other day, he said, I am responsible for my family and my household. Period. He don't give a flying fuck about what the fuck none of y'all got to say about him, his woman, his baby, his baby mama, his son, his daughter. None of that. Whatever you want to call that child, he don't care not a flying fuck because at the end of the day, he is showing his child love. And a lot of y'all don't understand that, especially from a black man to his child. Like... And I think that's what it is. I it's think, so big. Wait, it's, hold it's, on. Yeah. Would that have been his first son? I think that might be what the issue is for most people. Because, uh, you know, people be on some like, you know, my first son got to be like the one to carry the no, name and remember carry. He got like. But, but is it a son, though? Like, does he have other children? Yes. Because remember, he got like an older brother that's always like, like posting and is like, yo, it don't matter. Like, that's my like brother. Grown, I'm grown? Holding down. Like, oh, older, that's though. what's up. But me, even still, though, like, people are dumb. People are dumb. People are dumb. People are dumb. Because, where is it? <laughs> you know, I, I be trolling people on the internet. Right. So, somebody posted, D-Wade not hating his son is infuriating niggas who don't even know their father. father. Of yes, course I it is. It. Right? And somebody decided they wanted to post under it. Nah, it's infuriating that he doesn't correct that shit but encourages it. I don't care who it offends. That shit ain't right. And I was like, what? So, I'm like... This is interesting. Let me go open up this thread, right? So someone says, uh, in other words, your daddy didn't love you. Got it. So there's like, Pops got life in prison when I was a toddler. Didn't meet him till I was 21. Me and Pops cool, sis. So somebody was like, you're kind of proving the point. So people trying to go back and forth saying, oh, no, he knows his daddy. Yeah, but sis said in the tweet, niggas who ain't even know their father. You met your daddy when you was 21. Nope. Listen. <laughs> so you're proving the fucking point. You're point, upset exactly. that this man loves his child no matter what. Like, you don't even know that nigga. Okay, he got locked up, but you still didn't meet him till you was grown. So you ain't have no real father influence from him to be saying shit. Because who knows? Maybe he would have been accepting of your ignorant ass. Then I went on the person's page, and it's one of them hotel people. So I was like, this makes sense. I'm, I'm done here. <laughs> because y'all... Just be loud and wrong all the time. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing this. I remember seeing this. And it was mad that Boo had a little heel on and all of that. Oh, he looked just like D-Wade. The older one. And he put a post up and everything. And he was like, I got you. Like, no matter what. Like, ten toes down. Like, don't matter. As long as you happy, I'm good type shit. So he has two older brothers. um, I don't really know. I don't know how that whole thing go. But I know it's not. He has older than children, Right. And I feel like people are so disgusting. What they got to do with you? They don't have nothing to do with you. Listen. And then you condemning this man. Yo, he need to stop that shit. First of all, why is it so crazy for y'all to believe that a black man can accept 
any kind, any their child being any LGBT anything, they find it so hard. Like, oh nah, he don't really like that shit. He just going with it. Uh, nah, he, he don't, don't re- have he to. Don't, he don't really like that. He just um trying to be whatever, whatever. Um, some people are just not ignorant and understand certain shit because your ignorant ass does not. You know what the problem is? A lot of people don't, and I say this with no malice at all. A lot of people don't understand black men, black women, a lot of black people mm-hmm. don't understand that it is okay for a black man to be vulnerable, soft, mm-hmm. open, mm-hmm. affectionate, accepting, loving, yes, not toxic, yes. <laughs> yes. not misogynistic, yes. not problematic. They don't yes. understand what it means for a chest, black man. When I walk to, into the room type, Jesus. They don't understand what it means for you to be still confident, still demand respect, right. but not be like, What's the word I'm looking for? Like abrasive. You know what I'm saying? Like you can be dominant and not be like controlling or aggressive or problematic. Dominant as fuck and just hold it down. Yeah. And like they don't understand that. So like they're used to their idea of a man, a black man is supposed to be strong. and He's supposed to be this. He's supposed to be that. And he can't tolerate no pussy shit, no bitch shit, Mm -hmm. no pimp shit, no like, no like sim shit. Like Mm -hmm. they have this mentality that like a black man is supposed to be this. And this box that they're putting them in is you have to be cold. Mm-hmm. You have to be what, like strong, I guess, yeah. physically and like not show any kind of weakness. And by weakness, they mean emotion because mm-hmm. God forbid you have feelings. Yes. Don't be crying and shit. Don't be yeah, doing no none of that crying, shit. It's don't get so- you, you can't be soft. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that D Wade is out here like, yo, my child wants to be identified with female pronouns mm-hmm. and I'm rocking with it. They're like, what? You letting You're a young man be, be, be a girl? Like, that's like, what? First of all, listen. And if that child wants to be called a cat. Okay, <laughs> meow. Me the fuck out. Period. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, who is it hurting? So, today, like uh-huh. I was telling you, I got a message today and it was this boy i know from high school mm-hmm. probably middle school middle school high school and we always use he's you know them people that's just antagonizing uh-huh. and just aggie cool but mm-hmm. you know aggie and we just used to debate 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 oh debate, i know them people all types of stuff he'd be like but mm, i don't get it so like he's so he slid his right he was like real question curious to know what's your view mm-hmm. i was like my view on what like it ain't my kids but I'm happy people are sending in their truth and they have people that accept them and are willing to support them. Things that they don't the understand. Things that should have been happening. But okay, we'll take, Listen, a little, we'll take the growth as it is. Could you imagine the suicide rate if y'all motherfucking parents loved y'all that. and accepted y'all Hello. and let y'all be who you are without judgment or persecution? Yeah. A Could you pe- imagine? A lot of people will still be here. Especially in a black household. Fucking runaways, homelessness. Like, Mm -hmm. nigga, what? And we had this little conversation and he was, he was just like, nah, he was just like, this conversation didn't go the way you imagined. Because he really like, I thought he was coming with some shit. But no, he was just, that's what you was talking about. He was really Mm -hmm. asking to understand. He was just like, tell me, how how would you feel about it? Mm -hmm. Like, he was like, I get that part. But how do, how am I supposed to accept that one day? You know, I had a son and now I got to understand that I have a daughter. The I was same like, way you understand when a bitch cut their hair or dye their hair or decide true. they want to be called Pookie but instead of I Patricia. D- you stupid. <laughs> but I did break it down and I was like, look, fact, it's going to, it's not, nobody said it was an easy process. It's mm-hmm. not an easy thing. You get what I'm saying? However, that's for, you know, the, the family themselves to get together, maybe yeah. go to therapy, do what they got to do. Mm-hmm. It's going to take time. And it's basically kind of like death of one birth of another exactly that's exactly what it is it's it's gonna hurt and nobody's not gonna say it's not weird it ain't gonna Mm -hmm. hurt them or whatever but you ain't gotta be hateful you can love your child still and still work through the issues that you're having with it without being hateful yes and i think it also comes from a place of like being open to conversation being open Mm -hmm. to understand what is going on with the person that is transitioning or coming out the closet or whatever the case is because it's not even just about transitioning it's the whole aspect of the whole lgbt like even being a lesbian or gay or whatever the case is like you can sit here and say oh i don't have a problem with that Mm -hmm. but then there's people who be like i don't have a problem i just don't want to see it 
So you have a problem with it. You do have a problem with it. Oh my gosh. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like it's people like that. You have to be wary of like, Oh, I'm not homophobic. I was just about to say it. Yeah. I'm not homophobic, but, uh, mm, I don't really, I don't get it. You don't have to get it. Just accept it. Just accept it. I'm not asking you to participate in quote unquote, my lifestyle. Trust me. We're really not. I just need you. (laughs) I just need you to not be hateful. Not be judgmental and just pretend like it's just another fucking day in the neighborhood. Mm. Like, bitch, nothing ain't changed. Now you just know something. I knew all along. You Mm -hmm. didn't. I'm just letting you know now. So somebody just come and tell you, you're not like, what? No, from the horse's mouth. This is what the case is. Can you imagine to to be shunned like that? Well, not imagine. I don't don't have to imagine. (laughs) Okay. Can you, um, you know, just being shunned by your household and then going out into the world and being shunned again by a whole bunch of other people. Yes. So, so like, that's why his brother touched me so much because I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Because I have my siblings. Yes. And my siblings never made me feel any kind of way Mm -hmm. about anything. And especially my sister and that. And I was scared to tell my sister. Yeah, because... I was in tears texting That's my sister telling one. her. Right, you know. You feel me? And I told her, and she was just like, okay. Girl, that's what you wanted to tell me? Like, I think we kind of knew that, cat. You know? We kind of knew that. And then, you hey, know. don't you low-key hate that, though? Like, you yeah, sit here like, going. But you done took out my moment now. Like, you done took away my moment. You were supposed to be like, really? Okay, don't matter. I love you. Girl, girl, we knew that. And then <laughs> my father, being mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. person he is and stuck in his mindset, you know, all the Jamaican men, you know how that go. Yes. Him, he tried to text all my siblings in, in a way kind of like to get them to kind of turn against me. And everybody was kind of texting me back like, why the f- is he texting us, <laughs> telling us this shit? He just realizing, is he for, is he being serious? I was like, listen, he's not understanding it. And he's looking and I, and it sounds bad, but he's looking for vocative. Yeah. To, to support his ignorance. And so I could feel really bad. And my sisters and brothers can shun me and make me feel mm-hmm. bad. And they didn't. I love them for that. But that, we talked about this. Yeah. How Caribbean parents, older Caribbean parents, they would live in denial. You can be slapping them in the face with the fucking rainbow flag with dildos and everything. And they will sit there and be like, oh, no. What are you talking about? My child is straight. I don't look gay for a while now. <laughs> Listen, I looked I looked gay for a long time now. When was this that he was trying to do all of this? Um, all all of this happened very quickly, like <laughs> real quick, like the year when did I officially come out to like them? Mm-hmm. Like 2011. Same year I started my locks. Oh. Child. Eggs. Egg, dip, dip. I knew you already. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? As a whole you was gay online and do you understand? understand? <laughs> so, but this is what it is and even when he, and it and it happened on the outside too where it was after he realized he couldn't get yeah. my siblings, he tried to be mean to me and kind of bully me in front of his friends. And even his friends, even though his friends are like, you know, older Jamaican men yeah. like him, and they're like, oh, we're not really, not that to know, but we love Kat. Like, yeah. what's the problem? And they would be like, you need to relax. They would tell him, like, you need to chill. You know what's funny? I, they were like, why are you being like this? They were like, you chill. And they were like, and then he a lot of them that. was like, how you ain't know? <laughs> and then he was mad at them for not telling him. What's going on in his house? That me come visit and see and you don't see where you live? Because everybody was like, that? how do you, how did you not? Okay. It's a whole dyke. Okay. <laughs> how did you not know? Girl, the, the shit. And the you shit. was like, nigga. Okay. So <laughs> hold on. Cause I didn't know you before like prom. You just wore a dress for prom. Just prom. Just oh, to bitch. just to make my mom happy, went shopping with her, did the whole little bits. Got my, you know, my hair didn't have the nails, mm-hmm. and you know, everybody, everybody loved that one little picture. Child, oh my gosh, that <laughs> went around the world because I'm but, sure it did. Yeah, no, and as soon as mm-hmm. that shit was finished, off, gone, was back in my clothes, and then the last time I've ever worn a dress was 2011. Mm-hmm. 2011. That's the last time I wore a dress. And once again, it was for my parents. Yeah. You remember, you know what I think about? This is random. Remember that time I got fired from that job, right? (laughs) 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 And I came home and you let me do your makeup, right? No. The purple lip? Yes. (laughs) That you sent to your parents. 
I did. Listen. That's why it's a curry in the end. Yeah. Vulnerable moment. I felt so bad after that. Like, dead ass. Because you look so sad. I feel like you looked at your reflection and you were like, I don't know what it was, but I read it as you looking like, this is what my parents want from me, but this mm-hmm. isn't me. And I was just like, oh mm-hmm. my God, my friend. And I was just like, I'm never doing this again. I was like, how could you try to make somebody do something that, and the thing about it is like, I didn't even ask to do your makeup. You came to me and was like, come put some makeup on me. And I was just right, like, yeah, oh, yeah, let's yeah. go. Like, let's do it. Let's do it. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, dog, like, People don't see that, like, asking somebody to be something or not, it hurts them. And like, what was going on? Because it was purple for some reason. I think probably because I was wearing the hell out of that purple something lipstick or something. Though, something too. I don't know. Awareness something. Was it sickle cell? No, that's not sickle cell. I was don't it? know. I Is one. it? It was something, too. And yeah, I remember. Because I know they have, like, bold lips for sickle cell. They yes. wear, like, bright lipsticks and stuff like something. that. Something. I was like, well, let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm... It, I know. Listen, I, exactly. I'm, a, I'm a dyke, okay? I, <laughs> you, like, makeup on me ain't going to be, you know, yeah. maybe whatever. But, yeah, look, I was like, oh, this is what. Yeah. And then when I send her stuff, my mom stuff like that, she'd be, oh, ugh, like, girl. Well, you look so beautiful. Yeah, this is, the like same, a- this is the same woman that was trying to tell my ass that me need to go put on makeup. Me need to go put on a frock. Me need to go put on shoes and go find a man. Ooh. No girl. So. It, mm. If you only knew what I wanted to say to her, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I could imagine. Okay? I really wanted to gather her. Because I really mo- did. <laughs> okay? Okay? <laughs> okay? The things a man carry on with. Him. Okay? You get what I'm saying? Not to say women don't carry on with shit too, but. But. Yeah, I was just like, you are wild. Like, why would you? I don't understand why you want somebody to be uncomfortable. Exactly. To make you happy? That's selfish. That's selfish. That is wrong, but. That is. That is selfish on a level that I will never understand understand because, and it's an issue that I have in relationships. I personally feel like I like to let people be who they are. If I have a problem with something. Wait, wait, let me, let me shift my seat. (laughs) So go on, no, go on, no. I'm just saying like, if I have a problem with something, I'll voice it. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like we talk about me and my serenity prayer. I want, you know, acceptance and mm-hmm. peace and mm-hmm. these things like if i can't, can't change, change it i gotta it. accept it or get away from it period it's as simple as that period. now you you can't get away from your family i mean nope. you can but i've tried go bruh like <laughs> <laughs> listen especially if like the good times were great times you know what i'm saying it's hard like and straight people I will never understand people who think that being LGBTQIA plus is a choice because my nigga, like you legit, right? Like you said earlier, you're getting shunned by society. Mm -hmm. Granted, the world is trying to be a better place. America is trying to be inclusive and blah, blah, blah. But society as a whole Mm -hmm. still ain't fucking with it. No matter what you want to call it. There are certain aspects like if you're, masculine presenting you have a shitty end of the stick as a woman if you're feminine or whatever as a man you're getting a shitty end of the stick but if you're like a top like you know like it varies based on where in the spectrum you fall right so if you're not passing as acceptable you're having a even shittier life than the people who are passing and struggling with the fact that yo my brother is getting this bullshit but i'm not because i look quote unquote okay top truth you know, so it's like you got to deal with society saying, fuck you. We don't fuck with what you got going on. And then your family who's supposed to love you unconditionally, yeah. <laughs> unconditionally, under any fucking condition mm. is telling you, oh, this one condition, the one that you yeah. feel most that comfortable one. with. That one condition. That? Everybody could be running around doing everything else, but it's just Listen. that one condition. It's a lot. It's too much. I, I'm I'm very happy for that little girl. Yes, <laughs> that she's getting the love and support that she needs, especially she's young and she knows who she is already. Yes. And she can speak about it. And, 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 it, and that's I think that's a beautiful fucking thing, because it's like you got, like I said before, the outside coming at you, your family coming at you. It's a whole different bag if you happen to be going to church, because then you got your, your, own, your own faith is chopping faith. you on the inside of yourself. You're already dealing with your own thing. You're already hating yourself, because you're like, well, damn, why am I like this? Like, what the fuck going on with me? Exactly. I don't like this. I'm not supposed to be doing this. Then you're trying to suppress things. Then you end up doing stupid stuff, yep. like the tin man. Oh, 
<laughs> to those of y'all who want to know, yes, I've had boyfriends before. Okay, yeah, but we're gonna call them picnic friends because they were before I was eighteen. So moving along, pick the friend. Okay, okay, and that was like decades ago. But you're saying that you know what I'm saying it's great that she knows herself. She's what twelve. I knew before then Same. that I liked vagina. Same. But so, I, I think I mean on the on the transgender scale. But it's the same difference though. But but, but think how, about but, it. But how many but how many people did you know mm-hmm. out at twelve? I'm old. So yeah. they probably didn't even know what the fuck was going you, on with you, them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Out at twelve, like out talking about it. But see, and not being afraid. But then again, because you have that see? support, you're not afraid and you can talk. Huh. Also, visibility is vital because yes. we didn't see that shit growing up. Fact. We didn't see that shit on TV. It mm-hmm. wasn't on social media. The most you hear is tranny, a uh, drag queen, Girl. and that was all you know about anything about anybody being from man to any kind of female representation or yeah. faggot. Mm-hmm. Plain yeah, and simple. Honestly. It's either tranny, faggot, or drag. Fairy, whatever the hell. That's it. Fairy, whatever the hell. <laughs> you know fairy. what I'm saying? So the fact that she's seeing, you know, whatever is going on over the years, because 12, this is what, 2020? Mm. 12, that's what, 2008? 2008? Yeah, times have been progressive since then. Mm-hmm. So... There's been a lot of media coverage of everything from Facts. fucking Billy Porter out here doing his damn thing to friggin' pose on TV, TV. and yeah. everything Things else. Things have changed rapidly, There's, though, exactly. in the past, so, like, five to ten years. Exactly. So, being a little boy, feeling different, mm-hmm. growing... And seeing these things like, oh, shit, I identify with this. Okay, so I'm not a boy. This is what I'm feeling. I want to do feminine things. Mm-hmm. I'm a girl. That's helping you identify yourself. Mm-hmm. So Zaya is sitting here like, yo, this is helping me understand who I am. I have the visibility. Mm-hmm. And that's what the fuck y'all don't want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all want people to stay in the closet. closet. It ain't gonna happen. And stay shameful and stay living this fucking life that y'all think is acceptable. For what? Listen, we got a whole month. Y'all got us fucked up. Okay, what? we out here, man. We here, fuck, and listen, we ain't going back in there. Honestly, fuck that month because Wait, me personally, excuse me, excuse me, me personally, excuse me. I like June. I love June too, <laughs> but I feel like every day is fucking pride because the same thing facts. like like how I feel about Black History Month, nigga. What? I'm not gonna be proud of being black just one month out of the year. No, oh, no, no, that's facts. I'm proud all the time. Yeah. However, you gonna get my extra rainbow flary ass in June. <laughs> flary. <laughs> you know. I wish I had video right now for y'all because I was <laughs> listen. Yeah. So it's, and then there's that too, pride. You know what I'm saying? Like, granted, pride has been pride for God knows when, but it's more visible now. Mm-hmm. Like, unless you were a part of the community, you probably didn't even know pride was keeping. Pride was, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Even straight people know June is pride month. Pride month. You know, you go to the store, you see a rainbow rollout. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. And even the visibility, like you said, mm-hmm. that changed a lot, too. Once they said June was pride month, mm-hmm. it was everywhere. It wasn't just in our corners yep. that we would go to. It's everywhere. You see the Target, flags out. You, you go here, like... The empire lights yep. up now with the everything. Yes. So it's like lit. goosebumps. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's visibility, you know, and I saw something <laughs> I think I posted it on my story earlier. Um what did it say? Exposing your children to LGBT something does not make won't make them gay or some shit. And I was just like, um, hello? Did you think it would? Right. Because I'm pretty sure people think so. Because the argument is always they're trying to brainwash our children. That is my father's. I will thoughts. never drop my argument to that because these gay people have been seeing straight ads all their fucking life. They still want to go suck dick and eat pussy. Like what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's my father's outlook. I remember one time I was bringing my cousin to the gay club with me. Right? Oh Jesus! Listen, but that club was lit. I bet. That's fuck. And I was like, let's go. She was like, all right, cool, bet. Bring her to the thing, bro. So I remember the next day he was just like. Be careful, you know. I saw them doing, you know, them try recruit, huh? pulling the weed, you know, take, and then like trying to convert you. No, okay, no. It is not our friggin' fault that people like to type to. Mm, well, it looks kind of fun over here. Listen. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, you have those people who into that turn out things. Okay, but that's that's different shit. That's different stupid shit. But the same thing with these straight men that be trying to, they know people is lesbians, all that stuff, and they still try to do the same shit. Yep. So it goes both ways. 
Who likes to try to convert lesbians more than straight men? Listen. More than a lesbian will try to convert a straight girl. I'm convinced. Trust me. First of all, Tuh, let me tell you. From my knowledge, Shit. lesbians don't even be wanting to convert no straight girls. The straight girls be coming at the lesbians like, um, I want to try this. This looks interesting. You're cute. And if you I'm know my like life, to- you know it's facts. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Not even on some like, you know, I like, no, like, this is interesting. I don't know. Like, mm-hmm. now you cat sexual. I don't know. <laughs> cat sexual, Jesus. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So it's not even, it's just whack. It's whack. Like, love yourself, love your children, love your family, hey. love the people that are around you, yes. love strangers, just be kind. It's fucking free. Legit. Free. 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 You're not for paying nothing for you. Yeah. Just don't be an asshole. No, you just don't walk around and be hateful for no fucking reason. For what? Are you that don't sit are you heavy on a you? child that you don't know. It just and makes me, me want to fight people. Like, why are you hating a child? Pick me away for support, like supposed to protect and make sure that they grow up and become good, upstanding people. No, you they worried want about them to grow up like them, all nigga. Yeah, just take a egg. That's how they want them to grow up and just be ignorant and whatever. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, big ups to fucking D Wade though. Yeah, like, major, major big ups. Big ups to him because he's setting an, ex- an example beyond that needs to be set beyond needs to be set because. The toxic mentality of, oh, you have to be this or I'm disowning you. No lie. I'm going to say this. And whoever listened to this, I'm sorry if you feel away. But I broke up with somebody behind that before. I know that. Yeah. Like. About the kid thing. Yeah. Right? Because I, I love to ask hypothetical questions because I want to know what the fuck I'm signing up for. Fact. Like, me and you in a relationship. I'm in a relationship with a man. And we're talking about, you know, what if. Because I like to ask questions. Of I'm course. a questioning motherfucker. Of course. What happens if we have gay children? Mm. And the conversation was something to the extent of, oh, whatever, that's fine. If she's a girl, whatever. And I was like, what if we have a boy? Mm. Nah. Huh? Now nah, what? <laughs> the fuck you mean? I need to make sure that my child is going to be loved regardless. You get what I'm saying? Like, nah, what? I ain't with that sissy shit. Huh? I was like, what? So what, do you, what do you mean? The, 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 huh? So... So you're okay if I have a daughter, we have a daughter, and you know it's girl, a lesbian. You can fly by. She's fine. Yeah, the dyke, the whole, you know, dyke thing is whatever, but, you know, I don't, okay, <laughs> cool. So you're pro- bothered by the dyke thing, but it's not as bad. bad okay, bad. Mm-hmm. cool. But what if it's a gay boy? Nah, I don't want my son doing no gay shit. Like, you know, do ballet, and, and I was like, Tupac did ballet. What are you talking about? You like, know how much people do ballet? You know how many athletes do ballet? You know how many football players do ballet? When you don't know nothing, it's just because you shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> when you but don't know think, nothing. But they think they know. Oh, my gosh. Like, mm-hmm. it's just so... Ugh. So that was my whole thing. And I was just like... Yeah. But that's something else I don't like. What? That's what I don't like. Uh, well, the dykes is cool, but the gays is not. So none of us are cool. I, I don't want I partial don't, acceptance. It's And I hate it because a lot of the, like, growing up, I became the okay exception. Yeah. Oh, well, Kat, you know, we don't really end up, yeah. but we love you. Everybody, always, people, parents, we don't really, but we love you. You're mm-hmm. so sweet. You're so this and that and that. And I'm like the, I'm like the exception to the rule. Because you're still a regular fucking human being. That's what they don't understand. Everybody want to make everything about, yo, yo, like, come on. You know, what to I'm doing everyth- with my crutches <sighs> is not your fucking business. That. What crutches I'm dealing with is not your business. If it's not your crutches, don't worry about it. But this is why I worry about these fucking people because they weird as fuck. Yes. All y'all do, this is a child. Yes. And all y'all seeing is sex on him and it's a problem. Yes. It's an issue for y'all. Y'all have problems. Y'all might need to go check that shit out. Yeah. He talking about who he feel like he is and all y'all seeing in your head is sex. Yeah. And all y'all seeing, like, y'all creepy. That's legit. <laughs> That's legitimately what it is. Creep. They don't see nothing else. Like, I love the conversation that was going around about like, oh, so sis can get nails done or whatever at 12. Bitch, when I was 12, I couldn't get my nails done. That's the kind of conversation I like to yeah. see. You know? Don't talk to me about what the fuck this... Right. Fact. 
She living her best life. <laughs> It's don't like be the, a hater. It's like the comment. Somebody was like, "Yeah, but I don't like these wedges, though." <laughs> exactly. Cute, sis, but I don't like the wedges. Like yeah. that. Like don't. And it was talking about like the crop top, and yeah. I was like, "Come on!" And but I like, yeah. but I like, I could deal with those kind of lighthearted. Things. Yeah, like, people just do too much. That's too much. Yeah, like, I don't know. The absolute most, and nobody has time. Like, how is your life going? Like. What are you doing with yourself? Because last time I checked, Candy. this child got more money in the Listen, bank than you do. Can't even buy the wedge with the with the cowboy apple top. Excuse me, Listen, little girl apple time. But this is my thing. We're gonna talk about misgendering for a second. Yeah. If you misgender by accident, that's one thing. Yeah. Early stages, it happens. Yeah. I'm not gonna say you never gonna ever misgender Listen, somebody. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? You're just this happened what yesterday that mm-hmm. they revealed that this is the path that she's taken. Mm-hmm. And since then I've probably called her he yeah. a few times. Which is, and I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh I I've never misgendered anybody. Oh yeah. I've never misgendered anybody maliciously. Just maliciously. Right. That's the difference. Mm-hmm. Y'all out here calling her he and him and all of this to be to, rude and disgusting. He better and he better da 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 da. Somebody was like, he better get his ass to like some either some like kind of football camp or something like that let him put on some sneakers and him him him. i'm just like y'all are so disgusted and this is where y'all are where y'all are in life so nowhere so <laughs> yeah like and then y'all end up with the gay kids so unfortunately for them unfortunately for, for them y'all, karma Mm, I, know, so I know somebody in my life who got it, honey. Got the dose. <laughs> yeah, bitch. You ain't want to have no gay kids, huh? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to count on my fingers how many you got. Let's. <laughs> so, but anyway. Shady um, boots. boots. <laughs> Big shady. Because, the fuck? Listen, karma will come and bite you in the ass. Just be kind. Yeah, what you say you don't want is what you get to. Listen, what Blockbuster used to say, be kind, rewind. Just be kind. <laughs> yeah, that's, like I said before, it's free. Like, mm-hmm. don't don't spread hate. I mean, this child is literally a child. Twelve. A child. Do you, yo, do y'all remember where y'all were at 12? Somebody picked me in a. Emotionally, mentally, hormones. Listen, I was 12 when my cycle started. I was over life. I was over life. Nice. I wish. Yeah, you started nine. early. <laughs> nine. See, I was nine. My titties started growing in and right. all that shit. No, but by, by then I had to, I had my chest. Yeah, when I, I was. Ch- yeah, I had my chest already. Listen, I had a little chichis. Listen, mine came in at like nine something. I had my little train. Listen, I had this one sports bra, a little Tweety Bird on the middle. Tweety I feel like bird. all the dykes like Tweety, Tweety Bird. bird. <laughs> because. <laughs> Tweety Bird doesn't have a gender. I don't know. They said That's it's a what boy. That is. I don't but, think I don't think so either. But I'm binary. Listen. <laughs> yeah, non-binary Tweety Bird. <laughs> but you know, I'm a little sports bra or whatever. Listen, when I tell you, when I hit puberty and check my it. oh check <laughs> it out. Okay, then everything you need to know. You know what? I'm gonna send you this. And you can put it up so they can see it. Oh shit. Cause ain't no video. It's legit a video of me and my little felines and my little jeans. Little outfit. I was in the airport. Hey. I was going to Jamaica, definitely. Probably. And I got Tweety on my shirt. See, Tweety's. Listen. Let us know. Y'all like Tweety too? Listen, exactly. <laughs> because freaking, I was, and me, it's how I knew I was a little boy. Because mm. I legit did not want to wear a regular bra. Like, for, listen, I did not want to wear a regular bra for mm. nothing. The little straps and the hooks. Girl, look, to this day, sports <laughs> bras. Then my mom realized that my boot, I had, I was growing breasts. breasts. Yeah, you it wasn't no titty, titty no more. No more. <laughs> she Yo. was like, eh, eh, come, we taking you to the yeah, store. And I was yeah, like, support, it, Tano. Mm-hmm. I was like, what is this contraption? No, I don't want to wear this. Day, this. I don't like them shits. Listen, you see, I got on a sports bra right now. <laughs> like, <I'm, laughs> no bullshit. This how like, I have my little zip on it, but same <laughs> yeah, shit. Fancy. I Listen, not fancy. I, Mm mm. For people who love them things, go you. But me, I listen. I like to be free. I don't like clothes to begin with. Fact. I like to just be. Yeah, you're one new, with. Yeah, nudist type. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because clothes are restricting. But the whole like, nah, mm-mm. not me, son, not me. And I knew that since I was ten, eleven, twelve, like mm-hmm. them time they. So y'all say something, how does she know? Well, sorry, y'all are saying, how does he know? But how do, like, that happened too, right? Everybody started asking 
Um, yeah. How does um, someone such know at what age that da 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 But someone was like, not even transgender, dude. I think they were just like the LGBT. Yeah, LGBT. It, as a whole. How do you guys know? What the fuck you mean? Well, how do I fucking not know? Not even. Somebody else asked a better question. My LGBT fam, did you know that you liked whatever, whatever right. when you were 12? There's a bunch of it going on. I you was like, saying? before then, sister, before I was 12. I, had, I admitted it. You at know 12. what was going on at 12? Y'all don't watch Shagri. me. Y'all don't watch me. Y'all know what's going on at 12. Honestly, the first time. Listen, I'm going to tell you. Listen, I hope my mom. from like eight, nine. Let's be fucking honest. Bro. I hope my mama don't ever listen to this or my father. But when I was 12, we was playing Truth or Dare in the motherfucking library. You heard? <laughs> But this is what I'm saying. Nine, ten. That's what, like Shit, elementary. I'm lying. Twelve. I was living in Florida. Truth of dare, in the library was that I was ten. Exactly. Bumba exactly. Class. Eight, nine. That's what elementary. Yeah. You know I was nine, ten, nine, ten years old. <laughs> you know I was in the bathroom. Okay. At school Maybe in the bathroom. I done took my bathroom break. Make sure whoever I ain't gonna mention the person name, whatever, and meet up at the bathroom. We had specific time. In a bussing full make out touch session eight nine ten. Hey. You get what I'm saying? So don't try to sit up here and act like, oh, it's just something we see and we decide it's what we want to do. The same way y'all know you like these little stinky ass boys mm-hmm. is the same way I knew I had like girls all along. Exactly. Like, yeah, y'all be trying to make shit too. And much. I hate when people try to be like, oh, that's too young. To, and I'm just like, dog, we had sex ed when I was ten. In the fifth grade, we, they were teaching us about Same. dare, no drug use, yes. and sex education. Not, not dare, child. Listen, not dare. dare. <laughs> okay, I had my little dare shirt dare with the shirt little, with the yeah, the black shirt with the red. Yes, <laughs> I want one of them shits. I'm about to go find one. You stupid. Listen, no. okay. What is it? Drug abuse resist against education or some shit like that? Listen, okay, I was in the dare program. There's no point in me wearing that fucking shirt to become the adult that I have become. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> I, on the other hand, I just drink liquor. <laughs> uh, you know, <clears throat> don't roll your eyes at me. Y'all can't see this. But, um, <sighs> but yeah, so y'all see here talking some, how do they know so young? Bruh, if they thought it was appropriate to be talking to us about sex education at 10 years old, Fast. somebody knows something. Because I remember it. Like, they grouped up, the, they put the boys separate. Yes. And the girls separate. They mm-hmm. had the little video. Mm-hmm. They had everything ready. He and did us s- about gonorrhea and a little pimply pum pum. And-, and we was just, I was just like... Okay. Basically. Honestly. That, <laughs> honestly. My face was just like, okay. Literally. I ain't doing nothing with that, but okay. <laughs> you you go off, sister. You like, got a little bananas with the condoms and shit that they teaching you what to do. Nowadays different now. Nowadays they actually using dildos now. Yeah, you did say your niece yeah, said my that. Niece, was and like, I was just like, girl, she was talking to me about it. I was just looking at her like, mm. but at least she's like 15. Yeah. 14, 15. But Top I was like, girl, they, they hit us right on the head. Yeah. Early. Yeah. Before we got to middle school. Because they know. Yeah. Because they know. Somebody had sense back then because they know that those are the age, like, some people don't wait yeah. till 12 to get their first period. Some people having it at nine and you know or crazy? eight. I remember being in fourth and fifth grade and I had this friend, this guy. I named, I ain't going to name him either. Though. And I knew. And I knew that him, I just knew he was gay. Son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. From I was that young mm-hmm. i knew there was something different i i could my gate i was on point from then and you. i could tell and he would you know throughout the years date women 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 and i just knew gay gay is all hell now out there yes. living his good old life and i would yes. and i look at him and i'd be like look at you yes bitch look at your ass and i used to be like i told hey, you friend. that <laughs> you i told, told you him? that I'd be like, i used to tell you that all the time and you used to be like nah ain't nobody on it come on bro i i saw i saw you before you, know? you saw you at like nine, ten years old. You know, sometimes that's necessary. Like, I wanted to say you shouldn't do that, but sometimes that's necessary. Because Not in a rough way. Oh, no, I know. we was like I know. friends. I was yeah. like, yo. Level keep it, one, keep it a honey yeah. Nah, nah. I'm like, all right, you ain't ready. The fact, exactly. I just be like, okay, right, yeah. that's no problem. You ain't ready. I'm not going to force it out of you. And I'm not trying to put it on you, but I know, but I can... I sense you with yeah. all my being. I've sensed you since we were nine years old. Mm-hmm. Now, it's funny you say that because some ignorant motherfucker would be like, oh, you ma- you put the thought in his head and convinced him. You really want me to- <laughs> Listen, I will get re- Listen, I put the thought in his head, so I put the... Look here. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm about to say. So did I put that there too? Don't play with me. 
Don't play with me, dog. <laughs> don't even play with me. No, but sometimes people don't know how to say certain stuff. Yeah. Listen, you can't say if you're straight and you know you're straight. Somebody's asking you if you're gay is not going to make you be like I'm gay now or I'm going to turn gay now. If you straight, you straight. Period. That if part. you're questioning different if you're gay different and you're not ready to come out you're going to lie and you're going to say no because you're not comfortable and you're not ready to accept that part of yourself yet and i saw that on him mm-hmm. from jump the way he would react when yeah. he was around with other boys the way he would the extraness the, the, ma- extraness. the macho yes and i was just looking at him like boy i've been knowing you for so long he cocking. listen and he kept that up until after high school after high school Joops. came right the fuck out i was like hold up who is this in the club Yes. I was like, who is in the club? Don't want to ask. Goodbye. Okay. Throw it, bitch. Yes. I was like, okay. Listen, I went to high school with a few boys, and Mm. I seen a few of them in the club, and I'd be like, bitch, you better break that back. Yes. Listen. break that back. First of all, (laughs) I love it. But like how you said, I love seeing people that I knew were gay, that weren't ready to come out, come out and live their fucking truth. Bitch, I got goosebumps thinking about the shit. I also like seeing the ones that were gay that are not gay anymore and now are straight. Um... Um, they need visibility too. <laughs> what? But, mm, mm. Call them out too, because there was a lot of those in high school. Okay. <laughs> the, yeah, 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 yeah. What high school drop? What will happen? <gasps> um, I ain't gay no more. I'm delivered. Exactly. <laughs> Listen. Um, visibility for those too. Um, I don't know if I want to talk about this because. <laughs> I feel like some people might listen to my show that I might offend. That I actually like as a person. (sighs) You think people can like... (laughs) What do you think that is? Do (laughs) Do you think that's like a phase or like they want it to fit in? Or do you think they're suppressing the homosexuality? You know, I don't... I believe it can be all sorts. Mm. I believe there are people... <laughs> this rub touch of me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I believe, I believe it could be all three. I believe there are people that go through phases and they want to have experiences and they want to try things. Sometimes people just fall in love with people too. It does happen. Okay, case in point. <clears throat> right? <laughs> like a whole dyke. Like daddy. Like... Bitches out here swaggy as fuck, like, strapping bitches left, right, and center, like, the whole nine. Like, when I say, like, on some real shit, like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like the, the nigga, like, mm-hmm. that nigga. Mm-hmm. And now is, like, not, like, has a whole boyfriend and is, like, planning marriage and wants to have children with this man. And I'm not judging. I just... Vagina's so beautiful. How could you go back? Like, <laughs> like, but not even on some like I'm bisexual. But then again, okay. I feel like a lot of people, because of biphobia, don't want to admit to being bisexual. bisexual. So they choose crazy. whichever one they're embracing at the moment and just say, I'm a lesbian or, or crowd I'm or group, straight. Or whatever crowd or group they're in. Yes. Or whatever who's around them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that might be, maybe she was bisexual and just said that she was a lesbian child and just say you was bisexual i could i can admit that through my teenage years that is what i cling to but that's also because i didn't want to label myself as a lesbian because saying i was a lesbian mm-hmm. was so harsh yeah it was just like oh that's a big l word i'm not trying to use so yeah. i just used gay l you word know what I'm saying? You know, l word so i just used to say gay mm-hmm. instead but just say you bi- i can't with it just say you bisexual and done because that's what makes it look so frigging crazy yeah when you go from one to the next Quick. Oh, I thought you were a lesbian. Wait, you like girls? Two baby and a husband. What? Wait, I thought. Huh? Mm. <sighs> well, so <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not my business and I'm not here to judge. Free love and all that fun shit. That's like I'm, I'm just Yeah, if it's a phase, if you just fell in love with the person. Y'all just be cool and do what y'all got to do. Don't hurt nobody. Don't judge be nobody. Safe. That's it. And if you buy, be buy. If you you gay, you gay. If you a lesbian, that's what it is. Just do that shit and stop confusing people and stop wrapping people up in y'all shit. Oh, sorry. I say that to say this. Please stop getting married to these people. Oh, 
and knowing damn Ooh. well that that's not the life you're really trying to live in the end. Please stop that shit, yo. Yo, don't be, you, you, say you're a gay man. You marry a woman, y'all, y'all have kids, y'all build a life. Y'all got the cars, y'all got the house. Y'all together 15, 20 years or some shit like that. Then you turn around and now you want to live your gay life now. Because mm-hmm. most of y'all, why y'all end up having to live it? Because y'all get caught. That's what happens. Yes. And then it ruins something. You don't, you don't understand that you don't wasted somebody's life. You don't. You done fucked up. Somebody could have been out here getting somebody that genuinely wanted to be with them and just them, and you out here being selfish. It's too much. It's too much. Y'all need to figure y'all shit out. I know it's harder to say, but... Or just be single. Stay by yourself. That. Stay by yourself. Stay by yourself and stop mixing up people. It's too much. Yeah. Cause, I hate I to mean, see it. That's the worst. Can you imagine a person on the receiving end of that, like... Who, I'm beating your ass. The- <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not... Yo, I can't imagine... Investing your life, getting married, Dog, and introducing them to your family, and having children. Mix and everything. Y'all got everything. I, that's like to say me to get married. Okay. Child. Let me let me just be clear. Let's not. not obviously, <laughs> obviously not talking about the person I'm with, because I beat your ass. But <laughs> I'm just saying, because, nah, don't even play with me, for real. That's like the same. I get married to my wife. We, we, you know, we more kids and stuff. We house, we everything, everything set, everything good. And then I find out on the low that you've been talking to men this whole time and dealing with men this whole time and having sex with men this whole time. First Ooh. of all, I'm going to beat your ass for endangering me. I promise you, I'm wiping the floor with you <laughs> for putting me in fucking danger like that. I, I promise you. Cause and you with a man a- at that, <laughs> you got a whole, like... The way I think, I think very crazy, and I and I'm gonna start thinking about how many times I haven't seen you, and then you done came home, and I don't know if you were sucking dick, and then you were, <laughs> oh my lord, my language, but listen, you were sucking dick, and then you done came home and kissed me. I'm beating your ass, and I don't care. Hey, that's the Eminem lyric, though. I don't, I'm, I'm, I can't with that. Suck but it. just the fact that to know that I gave my life to you, and we gave our life to each other before whatever, whatever or you y'all believe thought. before God or whatever y'all believe uh-huh. in, you know how that go, and for you to just dismantle our whole shit. When you could have just been you all along, and you could have let me just... be, and I could have been with someone who I, who honestly wanted to be with me and love me, I'm beating your ass, period. Yeah, and so stop that shit, please. Yeah, yeah. I hate to see it. Yeah, like I, you said everything because ain't no point. Like the okay, listen, it made me. Do you feel like, though, like, people can be in relationships and then realize that they are not attracted to the same gender? Like, what do you mean? Like, let's say they thought they were in love with you, Uh right? And they were doing the motions and everything is good. Mm -hmm. And something clicked or a light bulb switched or rum talking now Uh, (laughs) like a light bulb went off or something happened and they realized that they are straight or whatever do you think that that's a thing like realizing later on while you're in a relationship that you're not attracted to the same gender or you mean that you mean the opposite gender Whatever, like, no, I'm saying, like, you're saying you're with a woman and she's oh, okay. whatever, whatever. Oh, like, okay, like, to then realize she's, she's wanted straight. men all along? Or, or like, it's just, just developing now yeah, that she wants Yeah, she's men. just dawned on her. Okay, that, my, now, see, I have better understanding of that because... Life, I feel like we're be, always growing. I have better, yeah, because life. Mm-hmm. But don't lie to me. Yes. And if you start to feel things, tell me what you Ooh. are feeling. Don't, if you, I, I can't, I've seen it too much from communication, friends, friends, family, people I don't know. I've heard about it too much. Tell me if you think in your head, like, yo, I'm having feelings or I'm looking at guys differently. Talk to me and tell me this. Don't, don't make me find out you doing it. Cause as I said, what I'm going to do, beat your ass. <laughs> And I promise you I'm beating your ass. And can nobody stop me from beating your ass? Okay? So, but just be honest. It's it's not, people evolve and change all the time. It, it's life. It yeah. is what it is. But speak on it. Don't be crazy. Don't hide. Don't be having sex with multiple people, mixing Ooh. stuff. Don't do that. Speak. 
that's the part that gets me. Like, it's one thing to feel ways, but to be out there doing something, like you said, don't endanger me. Because you don't, you can say anything. Me and you are together, and you're out fucking somebody else. Uh, that somebody else could be fucking somebody else who's fucking somebody issue. else who's fucking somebody That's else who's fucking somebody else who's fucking somebody else and fucking somebody people. else. And y'all all think y'all the only one or the only other one that this person is fucking. Nah. So I'm the only person that you're fucking outside of your partner. This is very great. And, and Frankie. you think that, yes, yes. That's, very Grace and Frankie. Yes. Oh, but on unse- But out of beat listen, they ass. They let them listen. get away real good. I would have, look. The trips together and the. But do you know how, how long were they? T- 20, 20 years. Oh, no, I'm not playing. And y'all had, we done been here. We done we places. raised our kids together. We have a house, like a thing together. What is it? It's a, the, the beach house. Are you kidding me? I'm stabbing them. You talking about fighting? I'm stabbing you. I'm a passionate motherfucker. I, I really, am stabbing I, you. I, I, I might I, set you on fire. I, 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 it's I, I, our I record. know what to fucking do. And if you look me in my face, we're not doing this. We getting married. Oh, let us see. <laughs> we got grown ass kids and grandchildren. Dog. And you've been fucking this nigga the whole time? 20 years, bro. And you wait till me. Yeah, that's the thing that Grace and Frankie that bothers me. I like it, but sometimes I'm just like, this is very crazy. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if this is really happening to people in real life. It is. In that exact way, though, that's a lot because it's Probably like. Probably not as close knit because they're partners in a law firm or whatever. Oh, we're doing all the spoilers. If you've never seen it, go watch it. Yeah. But Netflix. They are like, they're partners in a law that's firm. That's what I'm saying, yeah. So and friends. it might not be. And that- <laughs> <laughs> Like. Everything wrapped up in one. But I feel like it probably is happening. Maybe not as close-knit. They're probably not raising families together and having sleepovers with the kids and shit like that. But it's somebody... Just, listen, niggas is on the down low for real, for real. Yeah, I know that. Like, it's, for real, for real. It's just how dare you, though. I feel but like... I hate them because... As much as I like the show, it bothers me a little. Especially when I first started watching it, I was like, this is fuck, very fucking crazy. I was like, you've been doing this for 20 years. We've been married for more than that. You like took away. Years. You took away my life. Twenty years of my fucking life. You took away life. my fucking life. Now I'm seventy something. You took away my. You, I'm seventy. You took away my life, G. You know what's wild to me? I kind of love like was it um Frankie and Saul's relationship? I love them, because yeah. they're still friends. Like even yeah. if they weren't like sexually involved, yeah. they were still friends in their marriage. Yes. Meanwhile, Grace and Robert, they had a more cold. Colder. They were business partners. Yeah, colder relationship. They Definitely. were business partners. She had her business. He had his law firm. They were. And to me, they I call them. Those people are like a, just for aesthetics. Yeah, yeah. They, they're like I said, it's a business. They are mm-hmm. business partners. They have children. Look they invest the in the children. It's a business. We invest in this mm-hmm. and we go our way and whatever it is is whatever it is. So I feel like at one point, I don't know if they were ever in love. Like in love, they probably were in the early early I days. Think he loved Frankie. I know Saul loved Frankie. He still do. No, 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 not Gra- not Frank and Saul. Oh, okay. I'm talking. I'm Frankie and Saul. But like I'm in talking general, about like in general. I'm talking about Grace and Robert. Their relationship. Should, I feel but, like they they should have been spent though. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I don't know if they were ever like lovey dovey in love with each other because yeah. look at her and what's his name, the other man that she found that she mm-hmm. like let go in and ran him down mm-hmm. and all of this. You know what I'm saying? So. I feel like their relationship was probably done from the get. <laughs> and they stayed hurt. together because they got kids. Still hurt. Exactly, because I think she's more worried about the embarrassment, though. Yeah, with her. With her was the embarrassment. Yes. With Frankie was my, my friend. Yeah, like, I'm why did you my tell friend. me? Why you ain't say? But poor Saul. If you watch the show, you know Saul is, like, soft and, like, so sweet. And, and, you, don't want, and you don't want to be me. You don't want to feel because You could him. tell he's just like, but then they end up, they ended up having sex. That, don't like that. L- don't like that. Pick a lane and stay in it. Maybe he's fluid. I get fluid. the Robert feelings, but keep, maybe he's what? Fluid. He swings with the moon. You have the been phases doing of- fluid things for 20 years. I need you to pick a side at this point now. You 70. What are you doing? He's bisexual. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Honey, hold on. You was married to a woman for like, what, like 30 something years, 40 years? Probably 40 odd. Right? Married mm-hmm. to a woman, right? Fucking your, your friend for 20. You wanted some dick. Excuse me. Fucking your friend for 20. Maybe she wouldn't peg him. Of the 40. Okay. And then you want to sit down here and talk about, you want to go back to her again? The pum pum was wet. Ride? You better he, get the fuck out of here. He missed vagina. No, no, for- peep, no. Whoop their ass, but that's all right. I wonder who's the top and who's the bottom. Good night. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> 
Absolutely not. Maybe he missed putting his, you know, in a little something, something in a so, little. So, we not, we were just going to skip right over that ass. Okay, y'all. We're going to skip right over her. <laughs> we're going to skip right over her. But, but no, like you said, though, it comes back down to communication. If me and you were there and you start feeling ways, like Kat said, like, and you start, you know, da 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 yo, come talk to me. Because, mm-hmm. I, like I said earlier, I'm one of those people. I like to let people be who they mm-hmm. are. I like to let people be who they are. If you come to me and say, yo, I don't, like, okay, I can tell you this out the gate. I have never been a type of person to be like, no, stay with me in a relationship. And that has been a problem for some people that I've been in relationships with because I. We talking relationships now? We gonna get there. Oh, yeah. Sure. Because. <laughs> what a song lyric said, when I run back on the back, no y'all for the front. Yeah, I am not running behind you. If me and you After are. You know more than me, dog. Exactly. If me and you supposed to be together, it's together. It's not. Equal. You know, so why should I have to chase you? And yeah. then it comes to like, if you want to leave, the most I would want to do is find out why. why. And after you tell me why? Hey, good luck st- and Godspeed. People can't take that though. Okay, here's the problem. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. If you hear that, I'm cracking, cracking my knuckles. knuckles. Here's the problem. Somewhere along the lines in these people's lives, okay, they felt like, well, I want people to run after me. I want people to beg me to be with them. I want this. I want that. I'm not begging you for nothing. After you know more than me, you're a human being like me. Why am I running you down? Differently, different stuff. But if you want to leave, why am I running you? D- Look, man, don't, don't fuck with me, y'all, man. Why am I running you down? <laughs> Listen, I don't believe in running behind people. If you tell me say you want to leave, like you, we ain't talking about you know you have your arguments with your person. Y'all know how that go. You be like, yo, I'm done with this, y'all man, and then y'all make it up, whatever, whatever. We talking about when people be like, look, I'm done with this. I'm done. Why? But why are you? No, to that extent. Yo, stop running, people. Yo, I'm not. I'm not doing it. And people don't like it though. They don't. They but, don't. But why? <sighs> okay. So I'm going to say this, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to say this. I feel like you're, you're we are. You're a sadist? I might be. I'm going to say this. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Go ahead. Clear that up for us, please. I feel like the era that we are in life right now, like where we are, mm-hmm. a lot of people are in need of either instant gratification or they just feel entitled to things. Now, the way I was raised, right? Mm-hmm. By a very humble farmer man in Jamaica. Shit. I don't feel like nobody don't owe me, I don't feel like anybody owes me anything. anything. I don't feel entitled to anything. Correct. I don't feel like I have to be given anything. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like anything should be handed to me. I was raised to work for shit. Mm-hmm. So if I put in the work, I reap the rewards. Correct. But now I just go sit on and say, yo, I feel me that, mind that. Me uh, never yeah. do nothing for you. Yeah, it's no, mine. Right. That is not how you acquire things the way I was raised. Right. right. My mindset is you work hard, you, you reap the it. benefits, you get it, you mm-hmm. enjoy the reward. You know what I'm saying? Like you. That's what makes it sweeter. Yeah, mm-hmm. because I'm, listen, I tell people all the time, nothing easy is worth having. Easy come, easy go. Fact. Like, me no want nothing away, just give me so. Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. What wrong with it? <laughs> exactly. Yo, yes, exactly. Like, what you just want, give me so. Like, what's wrong with it? No, mm-hmm. no, no. Me want put in look a, you know? But not to say I'm going to chase or beg or, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, like, who <sighs> child. Like I, the rum <laughs> is hitting tonight. <laughs> like I don't. I know I'm an asshole. I know I can be cold. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it's horrible. We talked about this earlier in the show. You know the whole affection and manly, whatever, whatever. I was raised by a man. Like I was the early formative years of my life. Mm-hmm. My influence was a Jamaican man. Now, I said this, I think, on the last episode that I'm so proud of my father for 
throwing I love you's out there. I'd be like, yes, daddy, express them emotions. Mm -hmm. Go you. Not to say he was cold when I was a kid, but it wasn't something that I needed to right. live, I guess, quote unquote, in mm -hmm. old Jamaican mentality. Mm -hmm. I needed roof, school, clothes, <laughs> and food. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All the mushy, mushy shit. It wasn't that, but, like, if I ever wanted to, like, sit on my dad's lap and listen to his heartbeat or some gay shit, he wouldn't push me away. You know what I'm saying? That was something that I did, because, like, That's whatever. Cute. Anyways, yeah. I'm a daddy girl. Gay as shit, yeah. 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 <laughs> daddy girl, daddy baby. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't, like, I felt, like, unwanted or no shit like that, but at the same time, it wasn't as, like, cuddly as a lot of people have experienced with their fathers. That part. Now, that doesn't say that my dad was cold towards me. He was just very business minded a Jamaican man yeah that too and I'm he old, I'm old school types and he also worked for himself like so it's not like you, love you, you know. exactly that. yes yep. and <laughs> my biggest flaw in relationships is that I am that Jamaican man, man. when mm. I say I am that Jamaican man I see it in myself the older I get I'm just like yo I am yeah, my, I father. my father I see my father all over me it is disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. I am my father. I am the son my father wanted. I am like, it is yeah. horrible. Yeah. Like I see it. I'm just like, dog, because even still sometimes in my relationships, I feel like dog, our bills are paid. Mm. We have somewhere to live. We have, what more do you want? <laughs> mm. You know what I'm saying? Because me personally, I love the way that I want to be loved. But people quiet. I'm spoiled too, though. Yeah, but people quiet differently. Rotten. Yes, people I, are quiet. I love the way that I want to be loved. And I don't require somebody to be up my ass 24-7. Oh, shit. I wow. like space. I'm a cancer. This room is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cancer at the end of the day. Like, I'm in my shell Crap. and I am fine. I Solitude is my best friend. I love to be alone. Growing up, I was the kid that was in the room with the door closed, listening to music or like reading mm -hmm. a book or writing poetry. I was that child. I was not the kid that just wanted to be out in social with everybody. Granted, I did play outside. Mm. And I've said before, I think part of the problem with me growing up was I had a brother, so I didn't need no fucking friends. friends. So, you know what I'm saying? That nigga was my homie. And when he got on my nerves, I had me. So, like regular Jamaican people, I had my cousins. Yeah. So, you know how that goes. Exactly. So, I've never really needed to be around people. I am happy as fuck by myself. But see, all right, let's bring, like, it, let's bring it in. Now, I love me. I'm a motherfucker. Okay. I'm a good time. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> right, the crab. This is the crab. <laughs> and lions, what do you see lions do? You see them sleeping mm -hmm. and you see them eating, right? <laughs> They don't like cages. That is me. Mm. I don't like being, I don't like cages. I don't like that. Don't try cage me in. That should drive me crazy. I love my alone time very, very much. As much as I can go out and be the life and laugh and make everybody laugh and key, key, key and dance and have a good old time, I like to shut in sometimes and just be with myself. I just like to sit. And that is Put so some important. music and just be still. Ugh. It's so important. Some of y'all, listen, I talked about like how I be hearing that noise in my ear. Some of y'all love to hear shit all day long. This shit drives me crazy. Mm. I love silence sometimes. Like to sit and just like, like you said, be still. Oh my goodness. Like you sit and just like free your mind of everything that's happening. Like since I got my um watch or whatever, mm -hmm. there's a thing on there that like does like, what is it? Like um, shit, what is the thing called? mindful breathing um breathing or something like that like I, moment of mindfulness you some must shit. be my you must be like twin. You really twin because listen to me last yes. night i downloaded a couple apps because <laughs> i'm trying to work on some self-care stuff you know yes until i you know looking for a therapist and all these things yes but, and i got some stuff you know some breathing exercises mm -hmm. some sounds meditation sounds there's a I, the app is kind of cool it has a forum you can go and post if you're feeling some kind of way if you're not feeling yeah. okay whatever whatever oh Yes. What's the name of the app? I can tell you right now. You know, it's funny you say that. I two of them. One name, What's Up, and the next one is called Breathe. That's cute. Yeah, I think the Breathe app, I think that's what that's it is what, on my phone. Yes. And it's 60 seconds of breathing. Yes. For anybody who doesn't understand how to meditate or know how to meditate, I tell people all the time, 
Literally. I think I meditate too good. Just you. I I be I elevated. Really, I gone, yo. I be having outer body experiences, experiences just yes. watching myself sit down and just be yeah. like, oh, I ain't crazy. Your space. Hold on. <laughs> I thought I was crazy. Like I will sit there and no. if I, like close my and I'm yes. I swear I can, home. I'm up watching myself. Yeah. But it's so nice. Yeah. It's and you're so not nice. worried about the worldly issues Nothing. that you deal with on a, Yeah. Nothing. But for people who don't know how to get to that level, I always tell them, just breathe, literally, 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. If you can go longer, go longer. But I know a lot of people are like, oh, whatever. If you can't find 60 seconds out of your day, out of 24 hours, mm -hmm. 60 seconds, one minute out of 24 hours to just stop and just breathe. And all you want to do is literally inhale and exhale and be mindful of that. Think mm -hmm. about only the fact that you're inhaling and exhaling for 60 seconds. When I tell you it sounds dumb as fuck, but, but it is so like, like, mm -hmm. it's reawakening. Like you mm -hmm. legit, I sound like one of them hippies, <laughs> but it is, honestly, nice. like you legit, like it makes a difference. Now, if you go into it, I'll say, the fuck? <gasps> no, Extra. no, 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 like stop and like take good some people deep can. breath, inhale and exhale. That's why I say just inhale and ex 60 seconds, put a timer on. How That's does it. one fall in love with their own company? Who spending time with yourself? That was me. Like I said, Is I that used to be journal. willingly or by force. I think it has to be willingly, because if you're forced, it's like you're in solitary confinement. Fine, yeah, mm, like lock up. Yeah, but I think if you're in solitary confinement for a certain period of time, you grow to realize that this is what I have to deal with. I'm going to make do. Mm -hmm. And then you'll get to that point. point yeah. Now in start using prison terminology in general population, Girl, but, not <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the real world, you're not going to be confined to solitude. Yeah. Against your will. Unless you're like in a mental facility or something of the sort, but mm -hmm. either way, like in everyday life, you have to find that time for yourself. And I don't know. I can't speak on that because I person, like I said, like from I was young, I'm okay with being alone. I like being alone. And I treasured those moments because like I said, I have a brother. Me and my brother are not even a whole year apart. So we were always together, always together. We were in the same grade for a period of time. We yeah. went to the same school up until high school. I I kind of don't know when it happened for me. I think because my parents, they weren't like, you're not going to y'all so got people, y'all. Like, yeah. real, real old school Jamaican parents I got. And you're the youngest too, I so. Youngest. I didn't have my siblings in the house with mm -hmm. me. Like, I, had the, I, had the, I had the twins and stuff, but yeah, they, but come and know, go, come and go, come and go. And a lot of times it was me in my room, my video games, my music, and that was it. You get what I'm saying? You really if I didn't know you was gay, <laughs> huh? You so crazy. But video games, the video games and all I mean, that. My my dad always bought me. I always had everything. He all funny. the games, I had everything. I always wanted to be up under him, learning how the music and touching this and that. And he had me on out here packing barrel with him and <laughs> nail doing nails and hammers and shit, all types of stuff. And he ain't know. Well, that's his problem. Yeah. But, <laughs> and then, but eventually, as I was because, but I think also. Um, because I was going through my whole thing with my whole coming out mm -hmm. to myself and being comfortable with myself, yes. I did, and I did become a crab myself. Mm -hmm. And because I, what am I showing you? I, I can't show you the real me. I don't want to show mm -hmm. myself at all to you in a way. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And I would just be in my room and stuff until it, you know, you grow up mm -hmm. and you kind of realize it ain't such a bad damn thing because I see people and they cannot be without other people and it, and i'm just like whoa i'm like what are you going to do what would you do if this person life is life yo people come and they go people die all types of shit people just decide all this types of shit what are you going to do yes you want to be sad if somebody leave you but you want you what do you want to do this put you in bad situations in life you know yep you want to sit there just because you don't want to be alone and you, whatever, you're going to accept bad treatment. You're yes. going to accept all type of fuckery because you don't want to be alone. It's, we at it's church not, tonight. It's, hmm. <laughs> okay, tabernacle, bro, tabernacle. You know what I'm saying? That that type of shit, you really, it. Yeah, that. Everybody needs to find the, the space. Yes. Inner peace, self-love, find it. However, mm -hmm. there is a such thing as too much space. Yes. That's that situation. 
from today I was trying to tell you about earlier with the oh. with the girl. Yeah. So y'all. But okay, wait. Yeah. That might be too much space to us. But Right, 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 right for me. I meant Different for me. strokes. I meant for me. Yeah. I meant for me personally. As much as I like my space, I do like my person. You know, you like your person. You really like your person. Especially if y'all cool on a level where, like, that's your friend and your person. Yeah. That's bomb. It works. It flows. Y'all can converse and vibe. Yeah. And, yeah. But there ain't nothing wrong with doing that and also having your own space. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That don't mean the person love you no less. You don't love them no less. You just doing you. You Before you was with them, you was you. That part. Let's not forget this. Before anything, you was by yourself. It's okay. But what about the people? I don't love you no less because I need an hour to myself or two hours to myself. You get what I mean? What about the people, though, who, like, just be in relationship after relationship after relationship that don't really get no break in between? So they're not necessarily by themselves at any specific point in time. They are... Because... I myself have gone through phases like that where it seemed like I was just jumping from relationship so to relationship monogamous. to relationship. Yes, serial monogamous. You already, I, know, you already know how that go for me. I you know. have gone through that yeah. in my time. And there's also spaces in time where I was single for two years, just, you know, doing but the goddamn thing. With me with that, it was never a thing like I needed someone to validate my existence. I'm just I, dope. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, and, and, and it's always, every friggin' time I would say, I'm going to be single, this is it, this is it, somebody pop up. Mm-hmm. Every time. It ain't never me going looking. Never. It's never me going looking for whatever. It always the person pop up. Always. And it's like, God damn. But it's, it, to me, it was never like, oh, I need you to be with me because that's the only way I feel. No. I like being in a relationship. It's fun. I like loving another person, being in a relationship. I like, you know what I'm saying? The commitment is cool with me. I like it. Companionship. I, yes, and all of that good stuff. I want to do that, build with somebody, have kids. Y'all know me. I want the, you know. Yes. You know, marry my wife, put the babies in her, all of that. <laughs> That's the whole thing I want. So, but some, like, damn, it just. I'm going to double back on what you said earlier what? about not being able to be by yourself mm-hmm. and ending up in relationships with people that yeah. you shouldn't be in relationships with, like end up just pick up fuckery basically. Ray, Ray. And yes, I see that so often mm-hmm. because like, I don't know why, like some people just like love talking to me sometimes. And like, I'd be listening to stories that people tell me and I just be like, my nigga, you deserve better. better. <laughs> like, what that. did you do? Like, <laughs> what are you doing? But I understand, like, some people need to go through this shit. Like, and I'm not one of those people to sit here and be like, oh, you shouldn't do, you can't do. Like, listen, I'm going to tell you the real, mm-hmm. and you can do with it what you want at the end mm-hmm. of the day. I'm never going to sit here and tell somebody, like, on some shit, except I told <laughs> One of my best friends did it. I was like, you know, I'm gonna block you if you tell me you falling in love again uh, in the next six months mm. because this shit ain't working out for me. Mm-hmm. These relationships that nah, you you be doing some dumb shit and I'm not trying to hear it. I'm gonna block you. Mm-hmm. Like no, you know what I'm saying? But like it's it's in good nature. Mm-hmm. It's not on some like oh whatever. But it's like some people need tough love at the same time I'm, too. Yes, because. You sit and you coddle people, mm-hmm. and they feel like the fuckery that they're carrying on with is okay. okay. Mm-hmm. And they don't learn that the shit is not okay. Mm-hmm. And then they end up in another relationship or mm-hmm. another situation, and they become a pain in the ass to somebody else because all their life, nobody told them that what they were doing was wrong. Child. You know? So I feel like if you're... In any kind of relationship with somebody, like friend, re- family, romantic, whatever the case is, and you see people carrying all this shit, you should be comfortable calling people out. You should be comfortable yeah. telling people that you're supposed to care about, who's supposed mm-hmm. to care about you when they're doing something that's not okay, that's not acceptable. Because I'll be quick to be like, son, that ain't cool. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not all right. Like, that's, and I'm more than open. As much as I'm sitting here and be like, oh, my mouth reckless, like, I can sit down and listen to somebody tell me, yo, listen, that wasn't okay. Mm-hmm. And some people can't take that. I was going to say something. Mm. Um, We were saying, you know, how jump from relationship to relationship to relationship, right? Mm-hmm. As people under the rainbow. 
Ooh, child. <laughs> hey. Right. The lack of time in between. Yes, <laughs> as people under the rainbow, why is it that it seems, not that it seems, it is what it is. Why is it that we don't waste no fucking time? Like, we be like, skirp, next, skirp, next. <laughs> Speaking example, Twitter this week, some girl popped up, this is my soulmate, then my honey sugar iced tea. This is probably mm. like the third person for the year already. One more cloth. So everybody's like, what the hell, again? Again? Type shit. And that happens very often. We even find ourselves doing it probably to other people. Yeah. Like them again, maybe even ourselves. Like, mm-hmm. this, you here you go again. Did you say you wasn't going to do this again? Yes. Why is it a thing? I don't, I'm not really, I'm not in the straight world. I feel like, do they do it too? I don't know if it's as quick mm-hmm. in the straight world, but I'm also not very involved in that world. Exactly. See what <laughs> I'm saying? So I think more so it's because you can't really, how do I say this? I don't know if it's necessarily, because it's not just lesbians. It's not just, nope. you know, gay men. It's, it's I can both. Just speak, I just speak on what I, yeah, I know it's of. It's both. It's both. Mm-hmm. I think it's the fact that they already know each other. Like, we in the circle, so we kind of, like, have an idea about each other. And I feel like a lot of it is recycled people, too. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, we always talk about how small the community is. Like, I know somebody that you dated that dated somebody that mm-hmm. dated somebody that dated somebody that knows me that I dated. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's very familiar. But mm-hmm. I think it's also like, it always starts off as something innocent. Or no, not but, always. But you know what sends me? I worry about it only for the simple fact that even though I myself am guilty of the same thing, it uh-huh. still makes me worry because I still try to even... Give myself like a psyche about like, nigga, why are you doing this shit? Yeah. Like, what what is it? What's up? Are you lonely? Do you need? I try to ask myself these questions. Do you need somebody else to conf- like, you know help you? Like, you know, I've asked myself this growing up and going through it and going from relationship to relationship. Sometimes, and I'm like, you mean like the-, the relationship itself? Like, why? Why is it? But first of all, even with lesbians, mm-hmm. the, first hauling. of all, first of all, the love, pew, it runs yeah. so quick. Then it dead. Then it's another thing so quick. So it's it's very strange. Okay. I can speak on female on female interaction because I am not a man and I can't speak on male on male. Now, from my own personal experiences, right? Yeah. I can tell you that being with a woman is so intense yes. because estrogen is a motherfucker. Bitch. Like we are so like in tune with nurturing mm. and loving and so it's like I want to nurture and love you. And they're like, I want to nurture and love you. And it's like, bitch, we nurturing and loving each other. We just met two days ago. Like we love each other. Now there comes that also attachment problem that we were just talking about. Yes. Yes. And I think a lot of that might also be stem from family also, because we can latch on to somebody else who loves us and we love them. And it's like, Oh my God, we're meant to be together. There is my, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like <laughs> it comes full circle. It's like that. your family might or mm-hmm. you can always tell when people fully accept you. Yeah. And when they tolerate you or they love you because of obligation. Talk truth. You know what I'm saying? So loving somebody who loves you for who you are, it ends up being so much deeper. And it's not to say that. Oh my gosh, everybody has to, you know, fall in love every two minutes or whatever the case is. But whatever. Let's say me and so and so that and that, oh my God, everything is great, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. We end up things don't work out. Mm-hmm. Right? Now I meet somebody else and we're doing the same thing because at the end of the day, like I don't feel like we're supposed to be alone. Yeah. So we're drawn to other people naturally. Right. Now there are people who are asexual and et cetera, et cetera who don't necessarily want the sexual aspect of it or even care to whatever. But I feel like all of that comes with life experiences and things of that that nature. Or else I would be alone. What do you mean? Like, you know, you say you feel like we're supposed to, Mm -hmm. like we're meant to be with, you know, other people and do all these things. I honestly feel like as much as the things that I want for the future and all these things, Mm -hmm. if I didn't bump into these women or they didn't come into my circle, we just, "Hmm, where you come from? 
I will probably be alone a lot. Yeah. I f- and unbothered because, well. Like I said, I have, every relationship I've been in, it was, I think it was probably like one or two that I've gone after somebody. In all my me. years right. of in and outs of relationships. Right. Because, like I I really, it could be a problem that I love to be alone. Like, it could be a problem. It Hi, might be something. Friend. How <laughs> it, are you? It might be something that I need to get checked out. I don't. I don't know, but I can literally count how many relationships I have pursued in my life and, you know what I'm saying, ended up in. Girl, our fathers, Everything our else, fathers did this shit. I, I, <laughs> I'm going to blame it on them and keep it fucking moving. It, it's them. It's them living within us, okay? Yeah. Okay. But my father is a gallus. <laughs> like, long time. <laughs> Sorry, I wish y'all could see how she's looking at me right now. We're really not doing I'm, video. I'm really not even going to say what I need to say about that. Okay. But. Huh. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I. But as you said. Yeah. How many relationships and the two of them is the ones that you went for. The rest yeah. of them came to you. Gallus behavior. Yeah. I don't. You know what I'm saying? And. Gallus no run down Gallina. Correct. Okay, then. Correct. Amundo. Gallus be cool chilling by themselves and gal love how gallus move and love how they flex even when they by themselves even when you're not even trying to flex you get you what i'm saying vibing. exactly exactly like well, i be chilling and people be like oh you got bde really i'm really sitting here minding my my business probably in space in my mind and you over here talking about i got big dick energy <laughs> Well, Yo, these bitches is wild. Well, well, thanks. I guess <laughs> I'm over here in La La in my head, and that's what you're thinking about. Yeah. So, I mean, like I said, I don't, I don't know the relationship to relationship thing. I don't know. Like, I, like I said, I feel like it's the estrogen. I feel like the magnitude of estrogen on estrogen, and probably testosterone on testosterone, mm-hmm. is probably much more intense than estrogen and testosterone attraction. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say it's more passionate or whatever. I just feel like because it's the same thing, it's probably a little bit like it's heightened in a different kind of way. Yeah, because for me, I I, I don't want to say, I don't speak out of turn and be like whatever, but I feel like for men, mm-hmm. love y'all to death. They be wanting My to fuck. Kids, they just want to fuck. And they be, they be quick. Ugh, I, y'all need to. Uh, they be like, wanting to fuck. Please be safe, y'all. But y'all be getting to it, and I need y'all to be safer with y'all shit. But please. y'all just and think about it. Whereas the lesbians are more like, oh, my God, I love you. I love you. I yes. love you. Oh, I love you. Let's get a cat. Let's move in. Let's you haul. Let's <laughs> do all this shit. Oh, my gosh. I love you forever. I've loved you, like, since the moment I was alive and breathed the air for in the first time. In another life. And you know what I'm we saying? met before all in a different things. Things. Okay? And then the men's like, listen, we just want to get to the booty. Like, what's up? What up? But why? I don't know. I think, like like you said, it's different for both, I believe. Mm-hmm. But this is me looking from the outside into a male representative, basically, because I can only speak on what I see. Like, mm-hmm. y'all be tooting and booting for real, for real. Quick. So, Quick. Yeah. Like, y'all be having fuck friends and no friends, and that was fun, and wham, Quick. bam, thank you, sir. Like, Quick. yeah, meanwhile, we're out here trying to fall in love and... Jesus. All these things, <laughs> Niggas said, get it, cat. <laughs> Huh? You said get a get cat. Get a cat, all these things. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, so I think, yeah. Like I said, I think it's probably the estrogen on estrogen and the testosterone on testosterone. Like, it affects it differently. So it's kind of like, yeah. I mean, not to say niggas don't be falling in love and bitches don't be just fucking. It happens. You said something about just fucking. Hold on now. Oop. And the way they be boop, 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 boop. Now, this go for everybody. Um, I know the community is small. Ooh. Right? Too small. Yo, I know it's small, right? But at some point in time, we going to stop fucking your friend's ex-pieces. Ex- <laughs> yeah, friend's ex-pieces, ex-girlfriend's ex, whatever. Me- you know, y'all was messing, all that stuff. I know the community is tiny sometimes, depend- especially depending on where you at. But damn, can we stop doing it? It's, it's becoming incestuous as hell. Everybody fucking everybody. You done had a friend of yours that done fucked your ex peep. Then it just makes shit weird. We can stop that too because that's a thing. I done peep. Yeah. I. It's funny you say that. When I was in high school, 
Um, it's a funny story. I got to do a finger count now. So I was talking to this girl who went by a nickname, right? And my best friend, no, <laughs> it is so trifling. <laughs> My best friend liked somebody who was talking to another girl who had the same nickname, right? That girl thought that, I think it was like MySpace days. I had posted something about her, like, nickname is Bay or some shit like that. Some dumb shit. And Shorty came at me real hard by, like, fuck you mean, da 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 And I was just like, wrong bitch. Mm-hmm. Ain't talking about your bitch. Mm-hmm. Not me. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Long story short, shit come around full circle. Them and my friend ended up together. And I was just like, could you imagine that? It, yo, I done seen some stuff. I done experienced some stuff myself. I done had it happen to me. I, myself, I try my best to not involve. <laughs> why am I, I am not want to call people garbage, but <laughs> recycling. Why am I recycling? Why am I doing that? I'm not doing that. Like, no. So it could be awkward. People could sit there, everybody sitting around talking about they had you. Three, four people in the same room had you at the same time. It's too much. It's too much for me. And I see it. I've seen it. Like, and I've, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. And weird. I, Do you think it's uncomfortable because the conversation is not being had and it's kind of like yes. we know, but we're not yes. talking about it? Yes. So y'all need to have conversations. Yes. I say this to say that I was listening to um, Breakfast Club this morning is it a, I don't know, one of these days. And Jason Lee, the guy that owns I Hollywood Jason, Unlocked. I know Jason Lee, honey. I didn't know who the fuck he was before uh-huh. today, but whatever. He was talking about how the reason he couldn't be a bottom is because he don't want no nigga to be like, I fucked him. I'm sorry, so Jason Lee's a top? And that's his issue. A lot of people think that he's a bottom. <laughs> On top of what? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no shade, Jason Lee. <laughs> but on top of what? Whoever he fucking... <laughs> Yeah, my boy said he is not letting nobody. You, Jason Lee's a top. That's y'all can go find the interview. I don't believe yes. nothing these people from Hollywood he say. He said anyway. that I, he no, no, he can't bottom because he don't want no nigga saying I fucked him. Basically, basically. Okay, self hate. Carry on. Manifesting basically, in a different way. Go off. Yeah. You still gay? That's a whole nother conversation. Yeah, you still gay? Like, well, not even not even on no gay shit, but on some like. I had him type of thing. Like, that's what he's saying. Like, he just don't want nobody to be on something. Like, I had him. So he can say, Listen oh, yeah, he hit it, but I, I hit that. He not really trying to be that person or some shit. I guess, child. Hey, don't. either. Listen, either you putting it in the hole or you giving up your hole. Either way, it all look the same to me. Or both. Y'all was, it don't matter who, y'all was fucking. Period. Talking about, oh, I, oh, he, I don't want him to be like, he fucked me. Y'all was fucking. Yeah. Y'all fucked. Yep. So, okay, so he a top. Okay, so that means if he's on the bottom, oh boy, whoever is riding him, right? Mm-hmm. And isn't this true when women do this with men, it's considered the woman at that point fucking the shit out of him? Yeah. By riding him? Mm-hmm. Oh. But apparently, okay. well, some guys don't even really be with that because they don't like, you know, to feel like Guys don't be like, what, but what? Some guys don't like to feel like they're in a position of submission. I'm not, I'm not, so, I'm not even doing this anymore. Girl, <laughs> males are. I, I don't. Yeah, they're not. Thank you. Because yeah. What? Yeah. They like the idea of it for the most part. Half of them can't great. even fuck in the first place. Ooh, child. I'm I'm confusion. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, mind my business. They ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl. It's oh, child. It's it's tragic. You know. My straight girls out there, stay strong. Slim pickings. Stay, stay <laughs> strong. Stay strong. Because it's hard out here, apparently. Oh. Mm. Could you just leave this? Uh, cool. Bro. Like, I honestly did not know who he was before the interview. I know exactly who Jason Lee is, but the fact that he's a fucking top is something to me. Yeah, apparently he got, like, I think that's what Charlamagne asked me. He's like, oh, why heard you get, be getting upset when people call you a bottom? And he was like, I ain't no bottom. I was just like, I looked him up and I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was about to say something. Just got up, cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, all right, I guess. But, you know, to each his own. 
whatever. Ain't nothing wrong with, you know, tooting it up. I don't. Whatever. I have a question for you. What's up? You talking about friends and stuff. I was going to say, how do you feel if the person you are with has a friend that they had sex with? I feel like it don't matter to me if you had sex with somebody before that you're friends with. It matters to me the relationship you have now with that person. Like, are y'all mature? Mm -hmm. And is it a platonic relationship? Or are Mm -hmm. y'all, like, doing dumb shit on the side? Like, or, like, being inappropriate or, Mm -hmm. like, have intentions of... Because I'm really big on intentions. Mm -hmm. What do you intend to do? Do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm very big on intentions. Like, I'm the type of person, I talk shit all day. Like, you can find me on Twitter talking shit. I'm probably, like... Mm -hmm. Just talking shit just to talk shit because mm-hmm. I talk shit. And some people might be like, oh, that's, you know, whatever, whatever. But I don't intend on doing nothing with it. Mm-hmm. Like, especially on Twitter. Boy, don't catch me on Twitter. Slack. Y'all might think some shit about me on Twitter. But if you believe anything you see on my Twitter, like, you don't know me in real life. Mm-hmm. It's plain and simple. Mm-hmm. But it comes down to... If I'm in a relationship with you, we need to have that open line of communication where I know that you are a shit talker. Mm -hmm. Now, you have a friend that you have had sex with. Okay, we grown as fuck. Especially as creatives, shit happens. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you fucked another creative and y'all have to work together or y'all end Mm -hmm. up working together because they got a dope vibe or whatever the case is. Who am I to be like, oh, no, I can't. (laughs) <laughs> okay y'all had sex are y'all having sex now do you want to have sex again mm-hmm. can i watch but i mean like <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> you can leave me out of that one <laughs> you can leave me out of that one i'm beating somebody ass but yeah, i'm just like, curious because that does happen a lot with us again as well mm-hmm. in the community like there's times where you do end up messing with somebody or doing something with somebody yeah, I never really end up together, or mm-hmm. even if y'all do try, it's not for long. Mm-hmm. And y'all end up being like, yo, all right, dead. Like, we cool, but now you're in a relationship, and the person may or may not like the fact that you cool with said person. Okay, from my person, own personal experience, yeah. right? Right. I dated somebody <laughs> 10 years ago mm-hmm. that I'm still friends with to this day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are dope Trust as me. fuck. Trust me, I get you. Yeah, she does my eyebrows every so often. I think she might be doing my nails this weekend. That's my nigga at the end of the day. Like, that's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be quick to be like, bitch, you bad as fuck. You fine, whatever, whatever. But my intention is not to sleep with her. her right. And her intention is not to sleep, sleep with, with me. me. Or at least, if it is, she doesn't make it known to me. She don't hit on me this on no, like, thing. I'm trying to fuck you. This is what I'm she saying. She don't be on right. no, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we kiki or whatever, but, like, I've said this before. Me and my friends, like, we big each other up in a real fucking way. Like, I'd be quick to be like, yo, my nigga, you fucking handsome. Like, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, you look good. You're sexy. You fine. Whatever. Like, I'm that kind of friend to be like, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be able to big your friends up and tell your friends, like, whatever. Like, me and my other best friend, like, we used to send each other news. Like, even (laughs) the other day, the bitch sent me a picture of her naked, and I was just like... (laughs) Yes, you know, booty look fat, whatever. Let me just put this here. Ain't nobody sending me no picture of themselves <laughs> naked. Okay, nobody doing it. Ain't nobody going to do it. Don't, please. <laughs> I beg. Don't send me nothing about nothing. I don't even want to see a pinky toe. Don't send me no picture. Don't. <laughs> please. I beg. But. See, that's the difference. Some people are, you know what I'm saying? Like, I personally don't have an issue with it because whatever but it goes back to intent Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying my best friend sent me that shit and i'm like hey cool whatever and i'm like bitch your head a big whatever who cares and plus i'm weird i'm not sending my my damn naked ass nobody i I really don't care to see nobody naked body on my phone unless it's like my woman that's just me even if we friends Mm -hmm. or whatever it ain't like yo chill it's just like i don't please don't Girl, like, send yeah. me you in your outfit. So I'm going to be like, yes. Mm-hmm. But don't send me your name. I don't want to see you naked like that. I don't, I don't. I love you. You're my friend. You're my homie. But I don't need to see nothing. I don't. I have friends sometimes who send me pictures for, like, approval. Like, you think this look good to send bae? Like, type shit. Like, do you think this is sexy? Like, 
Do you think? I'd be what, like, what, 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 but what are they talking about? Are they talking about outfits? No, like you know, naked. a little booty picture or like, you know, a little like as not I, like busting it open and no shit I, like that. As I no. said, don't don't send me nothing. <laughs> don't send me none of them. I'm okay. I am yeah, <laughs> no. But then again, you know, different dynamics. People exactly. got different things going on. You know, you 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 you're definitely more looser than I am, <laughs> you know, with things in life. You know me, I'm like, mm-mm, don't do that. I I'm oh, I'm okay. Like friend, you need me to like show, send me you like you and your little dress. Call me on FaceTime or something like, yes, friend, you look good. Yeah, you look good. But do not <laughs> none of your body parts. Talking about, yo, you think this look good? You think he would like this angle? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> don't send me that. I love you. You my nigga, but don't send me that. I'm okay. <laughs> that part. So, uh, yeah. So stranger. Different yeah. strokes. Yeah, definitely. But also, who do you know that you would be? Girl, please. Anyways. Um, <laughs> Girl, the way you just outed me for not having no friends is so sad. Y'all really don't need to be sending her no fucking nudes because, bitch, no. Anyways. <laughs> I beg. <laughs> you laughing on my face? I beg. Please don't. This do nigga that. is looking to the heavens right now, telling y'all don't. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, it comes back to intent and conversation. Now, I'm wholesome. So, exactly. Especially if like you in a relationship with somebody who don't play that shit. You know what I'm saying? If your friends cannot understand that, they are not your friends, friends right? That's true. Period. That because there's true. certain shit that's not okay that, okay, I personally don't care if somebody wants to send me pictures of some titties. Hey, titties are great. Go you. Mm-hmm. But if I'm in a relationship with a woman who's like, why the fuck is this bitch sending you titties? Right, right. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, that's just my friend. Okay, well, I don't like that. I'd be like, ooh, all right. <laughs> I feel you, sis. I can understand why you would not like that. Right. I'm not even going to sit here and try to be on something like, but she sends me titties all the time. No. Hey, homie, my girl ain't really fucking with that. So mm-hmm. just ease up on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just chill. Don't send me no more titty pictures. Mm-hmm. We good. Mm-hmm. And it's as simple as that. Because I don't need to see your titties for no fucking reason. So I don't need to plead no case about no titty picture. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't understand that part? Okay. And cool. I'm, I'm strange because I, I, I don't want to see no damn t- I don't want to. I don't know. I'm str- I'm a different kind of person. I don't want to see no titties. I don't want to see your titties. If them titties, they're not. Mm-hmm. What, to have, my t- to have your titties in my phone? I don't know. Did they change or something? I don't say Is them. something going on wrong with them? <laughs> Friend? No, I don't. They got like a little nipple piercing, you know, change a nipple That's ring. That's a different story. No, no, okay. no, no, no. Don't change your damn nipple ring and send me no damn picture. I don't care. I'm sorry. I don't give a damn. Unless it's like some Harry Potter shit or some Mickey Mouse shit. Ooh. Then how at me. Like a lightning bolt or something. That would be Or dope. like a wand or right. some shit. something dope. But don't, don't. I'm okay. We need yeah. me to like maybe look, maybe something look funny. I got you. Listen. But, no. You know. Oh, shit. <laughs> You just said something about something look funny. A while back, right, I had a friend who had like a really bad pain in their JJ, and <laughs> your face. And for those who know, I'm like one of those people that like I'm really like all about like sexual health and shit like that. Like I want mm-hmm. you to have like good orgasms and good vaginal health and all that fun shit. Mm-hmm. So this is telling me, you know, pum pum hurt. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Mm-mm. This bitch had a fucking ingrown hair. When I say it was the longest ingrown hair I've ever seen in my I life, hate. my girl cock up our foot on the sitting on the sit on pan. I said, "Can you help me pluck this out?" I helped her because I'm a good friend. That's different. <laughs> you have ingrown hair. I know how painful them bitches could be. I will help you out. Now, I don't know about explaining to my person, <laughs> okay, that I had to help you take. You had to skin out your thing. <laughs> And I had to help you take, it's not going to go down properly because the first thing my woman going to say is she have nobody else to help her get the thing out. Yeah. Yeah. I can definitely see how that could be a conversation for concern. Like what, what kind of, what, what is that? So me, I was like, friend, John Wall, you have an ingrown here? Who will land there? See if we can find a little help. <laughs> because I know me, I go to weed. I try to watch YouTube. <laughs> Ask, you know, don't put one me right in front of you because I'm not doing it. <laughs> nope. Yeah. So it all comes down to mm-hmm. the dynamic of your relationship, your yep. involvement, your openness, your comfortability. So, and 
like I said before, if you're supposed to be friends with somebody and they tell you, hey, ease up, mm-hmm. ease the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Unless you don't want to be friends with them no more because the motherfucker would dead ass be like, all right, it's a dub. Mm-hmm. Because you about to make my relationship real uncomfortable. For what? <sighs> Listen, and I, I yo, you I've know had what to I cut hate? Off many a friend, but you know what I hate? I hate people who do the whole oh, you gonna end a friendship over a relationship? Yes, because you don't fucking respect Expected. what I am saying, right? And I hate That's when the like, problem. and I hate the whole like you know because okay, I have like a lot of male friends mm-hmm. because I'm a little boy, but <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of male friends now. If I'm in a relationship with anybody, male, female, or whatever, and they're not comfortable with me hanging out with a bunch of niggas, like, I can understand that to a certain extent. Because I know how niggas are. Mm-hmm. Nig- I'm not a bad-looking young lady. So, My friend says she's pretty. You know? Somebody <laughs> might want to, you know, a little... Yeah, yeah get uh-huh. slick in the mouth, say a little something. You know? Yeah. But me personally... I know how I am, and I'm gonna tell you to go fuck yourself real quick. Right. Like, especially if you know I got a nigga and you on some wild shit. Like, mm-hmm. I don't play that because at the end of the day, I look at it like whether you respect my relationship or not, it comes down to do you respect me? Fact. So if I'm in a relationship, I respect my relationship, but I'm telling you, yo, chill out. Yeah. And you still wanna be wild out the mouth, you can beat feet. <laughs> like, Ish- it's nothing for me. Like, issue, at though. all. Issue. When, let's say, your significant other or someone is does not trust the situation, but you're telling them, like, yo, like, and it's legit, just a friend situation, ain't nothing going on, like, this is my friend, ain't no problem, whatever, 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 and they're like, no, nah, I don't like the shit. I don't like the shit. Me, I've encountered this problem a, a few different times with different relationships, and... Listen. I really don't know what to do. A lot of the times it gets a little difficult for me because because when I go out, I'm social. It, it's easy to meet people. And a lot of them are women. And we become cool. And it ain't no become cool like because I was trying to holler and nobody was trying to holler at me. We just cool like that. Good energy. And majority of them, they're attractive. They're not ugly. They ain't no, you know, ugly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like there. And then from there, that gives a whole bunch of other problems. See, I feel like... <sighs> Security mm-hmm. is very important. And security sometimes <laughs> sometimes <laughs> you can't give somebody security if they don't already have it within themselves. That. So, like, for example, you said something about, you know, being in position before. There was a relationship that you were in where I feel like there was probably a bitch that didn't fuck with me because God knows what. And Bruh. me as Hold a on. good friend, I was just like, I don't know the bitch. I don't go fuck about the bitch. But if my friend is happy, Bruh. I'm going to take a back seat yes, and let it rock. Yes. And, uh, friendship you had know, took a little dip. Ten well, years later, I'm still here. Where's yes, that bitch? Okay. In hell. All right. <laughs> <laughs> took <laughs> <laughs> took a little dip, yes, because, yes, our friendship did not. And I'm just like, but then again, this goes with all these people that always have thought for years that me and you. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Y'all made me sick. Yeah. Y'all made me sick. Y'all need to stop. We not. No. Okay, listen, my friend is beautiful. Hey. I'm a good looking nigga, period. That but part. But it ain't that. Nigga, look, it's not that. And uh, some relationships I've been in, they haven't been okay with me. And my friend relationship, which is weird as hell, because if you really know us and you really hang around us, you know all we do is joke all day and talk shit. So, but like I said, it people and yeah. what they have in their head already. Yep. And when it's made up and set on that, you, there's no real change in that shit. You cannot make people see what they do not want to open their eyes and look at. And on that, period. Like that's really yep. what it comes it. down to. That's it. That's it. Yeah. You can't like the, the old people say you can lead a horse to water, but you can't yeah. make a drink. You you that's as simple as it comes down to. So you can sit in a relationship and you can sit here and whether any kind of relationship, like I said before, friend, family, romantic, emotional, whatever. Mm-hmm. And you can sit here and you can plead your case, you can plead your case, you can plead your case. Right. Serenity prayer tells you the guidance, the strength to know when shit ain't what it's supposed to be, to walk the fuck away if you need to. 
because you sitting here going crazy, beating yourself bad, trying to figure out why this person don't see your intentions or why your person don't assume the worst about you or whatever the case is. Listen, somebody in that dynamic needs to change something. And if you know you're not doing something incorrect, that person needs to do something. And if they're not willing to do something, you need to wrap it the fuck up. bing ling ling <laughs> And beat the fuck feet. bing ling ling yo. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Because, yo, stress will kill you. And that shit will stress you the fuck out. Can you imagine? Stress not kill me, no matter I promise you. Can't, what I texted you earlier, my grandmother had high blood pressure. No, sir. Me not, no, no, no. <laughs> me like salt too much. Me not want salt from nobody else. Fact. No, sir. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Mm. It comes back to communication. And a big part of communication that people don't realize is listening. Mm-hmm. You have to be able to listen and hear what the person that you are communicating with is saying, mm-hmm. even if they're not saying anything. Mm-hmm. Okay, Mm -hmm. you have to be able to be receptive of what people are putting out. You can't just be going into shit for yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's it. We're done talk. (sighs) All right. Well, you have nothing else you want to chip in because we have been talking for motherfucking two hours. Damn. I think we did good. The rum is done setting and beat ass. I'm sweating bullets. (laughs) We done talk some shit. We going to hear about some things. And that's (laughs) Listen, if you feel a way, get a therapist. Um, journal. Talk to yourself. Whatever you need to do. Get some of them apps, y'all. Don't, oh, that's what I want to talk about. You was talking about apps. Um, mm-hmm. I think I told you about it. I don't know. Um, the end of last year, um, because I'm looking into therapy myself. What, talk space? No, not even. Mood Path. What the hell is that? It's a thi- Oh, it tracks you daily. Oh. Right? It, it gives you questions morning, evening, and night. And it asks you basically, like, how was your morning? Like, how did you sleep? And things like that. And then what is your mood right now? You can do, like, a little. the words after mood path. Yes. Exactly what I mean. Yeah. And it also, um, you can do, like, a little journal entry. You can write a sentence. You can write a fucking story. Whatever you want, it gives you, like, a little window. So after you evaluate, like, your mood. And then it also asks you at the end of it, like, were you happy, sad, not so bad, like, whatever. And you choose it. And I think it gives you, like, 14 days to do it, and then it evaluates at the end, like, where you are. Me and my self-diagnosis. No. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking I'm fucking depressed. This shit was like, you're not depressed. I was like, oh, you fucking lying. Oh, child. <laughs> but it's based on, like, you know, it does, like, a collective, like a, what's it something called? Like a survey type of thing based on other characteristics of people and things like that kind of like you're in the top percentage of people with this feeling like you're not okay you know so severely you're more depressed than you think. Ex- basically so i'm sitting here thinking i'm going through the fuck it but everybody else is going through it too mm. so yeah but it was really like eye-opening for me i was like dog what but yeah. it's one of those things that you do before you go to therapy so it's kind of like you evaluate where you, you are, are mentally and you can know what you need to talk to your therapist about. Like, oh my God, I feel really depressed. So of course, it's not a therapist, but it's a good way to like also track yourself because mm. you look at the calendar, you see there's a bunch of blue that you've been sad for four days straight. Like, wait, what? Or you've been happy for three days straight or whatever the case is, but it's a minimum of 14 days and it works best if you do all of them throughout the day. So, the morning one, the evening one, um, the, well, afternoon and then night. If you do all of them, it gives you a better result because it's more consistent. So that was something that I thought was cool. I did it end of the year. I was supposed to talk about it, but I completely forgot because niggas been out here living. Well, I got it now. Yeah, it's cool. I thought it was a cool app. And there's also Talkspace, but they ain't paying me. So whatever. <laughs> but you looking at it? <laughs> yeah, I'm filling my little information and stuff. <laughs> I but like, yeah, ask you like questions about you, like what time you start your day and shit like that, so we can know yeah, I put when to ask. Cause y'all ain't gonna play me. Yeah, I fucked around and put I think like five or some shit, Hell and nah. was missing the morning one. Hell no. Nah. See, I just put eleven just for. Yeah, it gives you like a little grace period though. So like, if you don't answer it like within that hour, you still have like a little bit of time to answer it before the afternoon one. So mm-hmm. it's pretty cool. But yeah, if y'all wanna, you know. Mm-hmm. track yourself or whatever if you don't want to keep a whole journal or whatever it's mm-hmm. a good little thing to moderate or just keep 
like just look back at like how was I doing last week? Last or week, yeah. whatever the case. Has is. things improved? Yeah, exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. Good. That That's too. Good. And also, you don't have to do it just for fourteen days. You can do it till Wapi Kill Philip. Like you can do it from here till the end of time. It's it just requires a minimum of fourteen days <laughs> to give you an evaluation. You get so. on my nerves, bro. Because <laughs> you know what you said. <laughs> you know what you said. So, okay. Anyhow, mm-hmm. do you have anything else you want to say to the people that have? Yo, no, you know, kind of late tonight and night. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if we go, go sleep and all these yeah, things. I'll but learn something there. Yeah. You, you finish your wrap up. Uh, I am poem, done. I there. Yeah, I'll learn something there. Yo, oh, shit. Damn it. What? Next time we're going to do it. Next what? time. We're supposed to drop a poem in here. Remember we said we was going to drop a poem in here because somebody said, well, I got a couple poems. I didn't forget about y'all. I got a couple poems that yeah, I was yeah, supposed you to did. All right, so insert. next time. Yes. We're going to come in and do a little something, something. Okay. Um. So, yeah, you know, same shit, different week. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow the social medias, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, like pages, all of that. Um, mm-hmm. Listen to us on whatever platform suits you best. We're on just about all of them. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. This There's no video this week. Tell a we friend didn't forget to tell, to tell a friend you. to tell a friend. Yes, share it, tell a friend. Keep on a bad mind feelings them to in a cell. Five stars, all that good shit. Bad mind people not prosper. And Period. You know, just like every other week, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. Later. Whoa, listen. Listen. Too spicy for me, Masa.